They cry for help, they seek a shelter, something to eat, a warm touch, and even someone to call their master. Who are they? They are the voiceless, they are the left behind, they are the unwanted. Dogs are said to be man's best friend. They have a heartbeat, they breed, and they feel emotions just like any other mammal that God has created. Guyana has a huge population of stray animals, mostly dogs and cats, and the numbers are increasing daily. These animals are left on the streets to die because of simple curable illness such as mange. Sometimes they are just abandoned by their owners. Some are taken to the animal shelter and if not rehomed, they are put down. But in the darkness and cruelty they have endured, there is still a light of survival for some. Meet Alvin and Debbie Changur, a simple couple who have dedicated their time, energy, and own money towards helping these strays. They live a simple life on the east coast of Demerara. Alvin is a travel consultant and Debbie is a full-time caregiver to these animals. Their home is filled with cats and kittens. Their yard is surrounded with kennels, home to over 20 dogs that they took in from off the streets. Yet there are hundreds of abandoned animals on the streets. Since there are no more space to accommodate the rest of animals, Alvin and Debbie head out to them every single day and feed them. This is just the half of the month. Maybe because we, play, we, call, we come a little too early, you know? But you should see the whole set of them every day. This is every day, every day situation. Well, this is enterprise. And the price, the market, this is the market period here. Yeah. Yeah. And these are all strays? These are all strays, yes. They'll be sleeping in the market area, the center ground. The center ground is right there. All it takes is a toot of the car horn and they come running. The back of the vehicle is packed with food, water and medication for these animals. Yeah, this particular one here, we know it sound well, right? You see now he's urinating. Mm -hmm. for, the, for the past couple of days he couldn't urinate, so we're giving him two cetrin every every day okay. for him to because we, we can't catch them for carrying to the vet, you know. Okay. These are strays that live in the community center ground here. And this one he like be over the road. <laughs> he just come off, right? So okay. we just, just gotta push it to them. Go all the way down. Come Sammy. Brown Girl is one of the favorite. She is visually impaired, but she knows the tooth of the horn well to come and receive her treat. For over seven years, they have been feeding these animals daily. Debbie's day starts at 3 a.m. She prepares and cooks the meal. During the afternoon, she starts her journey from the East Coast to Georgetown later joined by her husband after his shift ends. Weekends and holidays, they both journey together. How do you get funding to do this? Well, the fundings, well, we have a bank account. We are not ashamed of that. Okay, we have our bank account and we don't feed them. We wouldn't feel good. We prefer to take our money, pay our bills is the first and foremost thing. You know what I mean? And the rest of money now is to buy the food and buy the rice and buy the meat for them and just cook and give Three it to them. Rice so. Three bag of rice and yeah, but over a hundred and something pounds a head per week. You know what I mean? We, we, we buy, buy this thing and stock it up. Yeah. And um, and buy the, all the necessary yes. stuff and the gas. But we can't cook it on coal pot, you know? Mm -hmm. So we have to cook it on the gas because all around, the, all around our house got pens and so, so we can't oh, yeah, use okay. it. Mm -hmm. okay. How many dogs do you have at home? At, at home, it's like about 20 something of them. Okay, you know? so these are dogs that you adopt yeah. from off That's the right, yeah, off the street, and we take them in, build kennels with for them, cancer? and just, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. rejected dogs. Okay. Yeah. And you treat them? And, and we treat them, and, and, they're, they're, and they're okay. 
Both Alvin and his wife Debbie are very passionate about animals and love caring and providing for them. They would love for these animals to be rehomed and cared for, but most of all for people to be more responsible for these animals that cannot represent themselves. I mean, these dogs, you don't have to pay for them, you can get them free. You don't have to pay for them, you don't have to go and buy, you know what I mean? Buy a fluff, you know, okay, no problem with that, you know what I mean? But these, these are the free, love. these get all the love and everything. But these, you know, they need a home, they need love, they need a little caring, and that's it. And th there's one thing we don't like to see, a dog on their own suffering. We wish if we had a truckload of food every day. As we pass by, we yeah, that's why, mm -hmm. as we pass by, as, as we see them, we give them some food. But we would love if people could be like us and just taking a, just a one of them, just taking one of them, you know what I mean, in the yard. And you're going to see within the next couple of years, we wouldn't have no stray dogs in the road. People with stray animals in front of their home are where they know they feed strays. This is adding to the already large population of strays, but the Changroos intend to keep providing for them and hope that one day every animal will get the love and care they deserve and a place to call home. Love.